I was sitting in a math class taking a summative assessment and I felt self-assured because I was prepared very well for that assessment. After finishing about half of the assessment, I decided to check through my work. Then I realized that I made a very simple arithmetic mistake on one long problem at the very beginning part of the problem. And it was very simple, simple mistake. I noticed that I have to rewrite the whole solution again, which is about more than the half a paper. It was very annoying because the thought of covering my mistake with the correction fluid, waiting for it to dry, and after that writing the whole solution again tormented me. And also, I really worried about my time that was being wasted because of one mistake that was made by chance. I asked my friend if I could borrow his liquid paper. Our math teacher heard us and the temper, he told me that I must not make mistakes, otherwise my paper would be messy. Then I said, okay, I'll try, I'll do my best. Then I started worrying about making mistakes and I felt myself being more hesitant whose first priority is avoiding mistakes rather than getting a high score. Then I took the liquid paper and I covered my mistake with the correction fluid. Unfortunately, this took valuable time for my test. Then one idea came to my mind. What if I use a pencil? I will be able to erase my mistakes. Then I asked my teacher if I could use a pencil for the rest of the assessment. Then he bellowed, students are not allowed to use a pencil. His reasoning was, it's easy to read and check for him when he grabs a pen. Well, suppose you are sitting in a math class taking your exam and you have a pen as a tool for writing. You made a mistake and you are thinking about getting rid of your mistake somehow. Of course, you can continue either using a liquid paper or crossing your mistakes out or let's say once you encounter the task that you have some doubts. You have two options. Option one, you can either solve directly on your answer sheet but worry about making a mistake. And if you make a mistake, you can continue solving either using a liquid paper or crossing out your mistakes. But if you find the correct answer for the first attempt, that's fine. Or option two, you can solve the problem on the draft paper first and after getting an answer, write the answer down on your answer sheet. However, all of them take your precious time. But if you use a pencil, you do not have to write on another paper first and you will save that time and you can spend it for solving all the problems or checking your work to make sure that you have done all correctly. You will have a chance to attempt solving problems as much as you want. You do not have to worry about the mess that the pen or pencils may cause. You do not have to worry about making mistakes. You feel more confident. Making mistakes is absolutely normal. At what point in our development do mistakes become something to fear? What's wrong with getting something wrong and trying again until they get it right? Nothing. As James Joyce said, Mistakes are the portals of discovery. Mistakes offer humans their most direct access to learning, improvement, and growth. The truth is, everyone makes mistakes because that is how we learn and grow. Generally, when you make a mistake with a pen, you have three choices. First, 
You can easily leave it and hope nobody notices. Second, you can easily use a liquid paper and have a gunky mess. Or three, you can easily scribble your mistakes out and leave a glaring mess. But pencils are great for keeping things clear. You made a mistake, you can easily rub it out and continue attempting. What happens if an ink pen leaks all over the student's pocket, shirt, papers, book bag? Complete mess. Whereas pencils do not cause those type of problems. Any type of mess with pencils can be erased. Using a pencil improves your self-confidence and also you will have more time to find the correct answer. We have to change our handwriting tool from pen to pencil. We should require our students to use a pencil. It really has an effect on their success. They must not be a person who has a fear of failing, who is afraid of making mistakes, and who is afraid of doing something great. They must be a self-confident person who always thinks about achieving something great, doing something great, and who does not fear doing something wrong. And of course, these are the attributes of a success successful person. We should learn to correct our mistakes rather than fearing them and doing nothing. Thank you.